All right, Sean Wong, this is Yaqua with the GMS Dallas Camp. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rukakadash, Barakata. You know, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Moses, and we teach them real well. And salutations to the Akim scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, keep his word in truth and sincerity. All right, man, I just want to go into, I just want to do a quick video going into, uh, you know, pretty much the topic of the day of the Lord, man. Because we all know, you know what I'm saying, that the day of the Lord is going to be a day of, of death and destruction, man. It's not going to be a happy day. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be a day that's going to make you feel good. It's going to be a, it's going to be a day where, it's, you know, everything's going to be turned upside down, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything around you, this whole world, this whole, uh, this whole uh, way of, of living is going to be changed. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're not going to be able to just get food how you get food today, man. You, you can't just, you, you ain't going to be able to just go to the grocery store and uh, buy whatever you need to buy. Alright, water is not going to be accessible like it, like it is today. You know what I'm saying? People are going to be dying left and right. You know what I'm saying? That's why scriptures say that the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. Because it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a horrible, horrible day, man, for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's up. You know what I'm saying? And the only ones that are gonna be covered and secured in that day are the elect, according to the scriptures, man. So I'm gonna read this. All right, this is Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. The Lord, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, man. And that's talking about the elect, you know, repenting and coming back to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Because he promised, uh, you know, that he would raise us up, you know what I'm saying, and put them and, and establish the, uh, the nation of Israel. In the kingdom of heaven, as the uh, true rulers of the uh, of this world, man. Okay, you know what I'm saying. The Most High said He's going to take Esau down, and you were seeing it happening today. You know, it's slowly but surely it's happening, man. The Most High is not slack concerning His promise, man, towards towards the nation of Israel. All right, verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up, man. And that's true, man. Hey, the Most High, you know, set up his instruments, and his uh, and the Smith, you know, the Smith being these uh, scientists that created the, uh, they have created the, you know, atomic bomb, these atomic weapons, these nuclear, this thermonuclear. Uh, 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 missiles man that's how the most high is, is going to uh, burn this place up through them ICBMs you know what I'm saying he's going to put that spirit in these other nations man to to unleash their fury on, on America man because um, you know they tired of America you can see it clearly in the news that these other nations are getting tired of America shit man America's, America is a very proud nation man you see all the stuff that Donald Trump is doing man that proud spirit that he got you know what I'm saying? These other nations aren't going to take much more of it, man. They're going to bomb this place. You know? And it's prophesied that that would happen. That's why Peter wrote this in this chapter, man. It says that the elements... Uh, let's see. Uh, where is this? Oh, right here where it says... Uh, in, the, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that, that are therein shall be burnt up, man. And it's not. And Peter's not the only one that said it. That said it, man. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. All right, John. You know what I'm saying? Obadiah. You know what I'm saying? The AA is prophesied by many prophets in many different books that this place is going to have to burn, man. That's why I mentioned that in the beginning of this video. That the day of the Lord is not is 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 darkness and not light, man. It's something that's not to be taken uh, lightly. All right, verse eleven. Seeing that then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? So what kind of person are you gonna be when that day comes? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know I think about that 
every day, man. Like, damn, am I going to really be the man I'm supposed to be in that day? Lord willing, the most I put that spirit on me to endure and to keep my faith. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to keep, you know what I'm saying? You got to have, uh, man, uh, like, you really got to have that mentality to, you know, you can't just be going around saying, like, yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm going to be good on that day. Hell yeah, I got this, you know, man. You gotta, you gotta have pray and and say, Lord willing, like it says in, in the book of James, like Lord willing, I'll do this. Lord willing, I'm gonna do that. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Whatever the case is, man. Lord willing, I'll be, the, I'll be the man of the Lord that day. I'll be able to keep my composure and keep my faith. Lord willing, yeah, I'll bash him. Yeah, I'll be right to You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, you because you, you don't know what kind of person you're gonna be in that day, man. You know, and that counts for any any kind of situation when it comes to be, uh, 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 your life being on the line. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what kind of person you're gonna be. You know, hey, when you have a gun pointed at your face, how you gonna act? You know, right now you ain't, you ain't got no gun up in your face, so you you might be like, nah, hell, nah, yeah, I, I, try, I try and take it away or. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not gonna be scared, I'm just gonna stare him in the face or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Just proud. You know what I'm saying? But hey, when you really got that gun pointing at your face, you know what I'm saying, you might yeah, you might do the complete opposite of what you thought you were gonna do, man. Might start crying, might run away, might beg for your life, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you don't know. That's why you say Lord willing, man. Lord willing the most high keep that spirit on you. All right, verse 20, 10, uh, verse 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of power of, of the Most High, Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and all the animals shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, man, the Most High is going to burn this place up. You know, and the elect are, are looking at and hastening for the day of his coming. All right. All right, verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new he heavens and the, and the new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. And that's what we're looking for, man. A new, a new heaven and a new earth, man. For the kingdom, uh, for the uh, kingdom of heaven to be established here on earth, man, and for the elect to rule in righteousness, and to judge the, the earth how it's supposed to be judged, and for everything to be put back in order. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's one more I wanted to get. Jeremiah. You know, we all know this one. Let's see. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start at verse five, Jeremiah 30 and five. But thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned to pale, paleness, man. You know, there's gonna be a time where, you know, even the manliest man that you thought was just the big, you know, the the most toughest guy is going to be it's going to be crying like a like a woman uh giving about to give birth man you know what i'm saying that's why it says wherefore do i see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all our faces are turning to paleness all right verse seven alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's struggle but he but he shall be saved out of it man and that time is coming very soon, man. That time of Jacob's trouble, where the whole this whole world is gonna be turned on its head. You know what I'm saying? Especially here in America, man. This 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 luxurious life that you're living in. You know, being able to just get food whenever you want, water. You know what I'm saying? You got a car. You go to your job. You know what I'm saying? You got your, your kids. You got a home to go to, shelter. All that's gonna be turned turned upside down, man. People gonna be dying on the streets. Going, people gonna be starving, disease, famine. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of shits. Going, monsters are gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like it says in the scriptures, man. All kinds of shit is gonna be happening, man. That's why it says. That's why we read in the Peter's, man. You know what manner of man will you be? You know what I'm saying? And and like we just read here, but he shall be saved out of it, man. The the men of the Lord are gonna keep that faith. That, you know what I'm saying? They are gonna be humble enough to understand that them times what them times are really about you know you could just you know you 
you might go around saying like, yeah, it's all good. I, you know, I believe in you. How about Shimmy Oshai? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Hey, I'm, you know, being a brother, you, you know all the precepts. Read. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying. If there's something, you know what I'm saying. In that day, you know what I'm saying. You can't just be. You can't just be going around saying like, yeah, it's all good. I do this. I do that. I'm good. I keep the faith. I'm, I'll be all right, you know what I'm saying. You gotta say, Lord willing, man. Lord willing, I'll be. Uh, uh, I'll keep. I'll keep my composure and my integrity in that day. You know, it's not. It's, it's you know. It's easier said than done, of course. You know what I'm saying. But you gotta understand that that day. That that day is gonna be something that nobody's ever seen in the whole world, man. You gotta pray that you help us, Jimmy Oshai, keep that spirit on you. All right, but that's uh, there's more on this, but man, I just I wanted I just wanted to do a quick video on that. You know what I'm saying with that, Lord willing, I'm say uh, it's like yeah. Uh, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.